Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming UEFA Champions League fixture between Chelsea and Malma. We'll be at the Stanford Bridge in West London for this one. It's a beautiful rendition on the Virtua Red patch that I use. Chelsea will certainly be one of the favorites. They are the holders. Probably coming in behind uh, PSG and Man City, according to most bookmakers. But in my eyes, this is the team to beat. They're the holders. They've gotten better. Until someone knocks them off, that's who I'm looking at. It's Chelsea. As the two sides prepare for kickoff and complete their uh, pregame festivities, take a look at our starting lineups. For Chelsea, they line up in a 3 4 3. Mount Vernon Ziek across the top, Vilicic and Havertz, and Jorginho and Conte, Silva, Zuma, Rudigo across the back, and Igor the Mendy in the net. On the very formal side, for Malma, they line up in a 4 4 2. Some of these uh, Scandinavian names. A little tough for me, Malda in Sweden. Southern Sweden, really just across from uh, Copenhagen. Let's look at our two sides and our Champions League ball for the new campaign. We are underway. It's West London versus Southeast Sweden. Ziyech, the Moroccan national, takes the first shot of the match. It's knocked down by the defense. Ziyech again. He had the goal and the unfortunate injury shortly thereafter in the Super Cup against Villarreal, but he's back now, looking good. Vitality ad board back there, but favorite of all ad boards, the little dog chasing the ball. I don't even mind getting distracted by it once in a while, it looks so good. Kai Havertz, the German, the Jorginho, Italian, Tiago Silva, the Brazilian, Pulisic, the American, Mason Mount, the Englishman, back to Pulisic. It's Chelsea side, a very international side. Werner, the German, it's for Ziyech, the Moroccan. He's got Rubik's car posted, finds it. Sakeem Ziyech, assisted by Timo Werner. The hockey assist, or the MLS assist. It's Christian Pulisic, the second assist. The hockey and the MLS count, but I don't think anyone else really does. Bridge is hopping. This is such a formidable side. Strength on strength. We don't even have Lukaku in the lineup here. I mean, for a team that just won the Champions League to pick up a guy like Lukaku, my goodness. So much attacking prowess. Even this lineup, you got Werner, Pulisic, Ziyech, Havertz, Mount. All can go forward because you got that uh, double pivot of Conte and Jorginho in front of a very strong back three. And Edward Mindy, who he may not be back for this one. I'm not sure yet. It sounds like it's kind of a coin flip right now. I put him in here. We may see Kepa at this one because Mindy's fighting with an injury right now. He's been he's pretty questionable as to whether or not he's going to be fit for this one. With all due respect to Malma, I think if you're going to miss a 
match for Chelsea. This is probably one that they wouldn't mind. They haven't looked great in their first couple of Champions League fixtures. I guess I should just say they haven't they haven't looked convincing. They've got results, but, which is ultimately what counts. But they haven't looked real convincing. I do wonder if they've just taken a little while to get going. Timo Werner offside. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Thanks, Timo. Should have just taken that in with Conte, which was my first thought. Golo Conte doesn't get a lot of shots at goal. Jorginho, so good for Italy in the Euro this summer, so good for Chelsea all last season And this. Kai Havertz, he had the goal in the Champions League final, decided it for Chelsea. Had that run, touch to get around Ederson as he had come out, and just kind of passed it in the back of the net. Really skillful. Havertz, one of the best interviews I've ever heard after after the Champions uh, final. I'm sure the as for this preview, Chelsea versus Palma. It's one goal at the break. King Ziyech, Moroccan national, he's got the goal. Chelsea have had all the possession, all the attempts. I think that's very much how this will play out. If it continues in this preview, I expect we'll see another goal or two before this is over. We got a substitution for Malma. I've been pronouncing this Malmo my whole life. Someone's informed me that the uh, the umlaut, the umlaut, I think is what it's called, over the O, um, makes it pronounced more like the uh, month instead of the so I'm Trying to do that correctly. Uh, Werner offsides again. You've heard too many times. <laughs> See the Drogba legend sign back there. Man, he was a player. Ziyech. Can't quite turn the corner. Oh, bad turnover from the defense. Tiago Silva. That's my professional Tiago Silva. If you listen to Mount, Mount's on the move. No defender likes to hear that. Looking for Havertz. He's wide of the target. Quarter hour plus stoppage remains. Kai Havertz had a pretty good look there. Had a lane, but couldn't wrap his foot around it. Probably still would have been a bit wide. Under substitution for Malma. Keep the boots long. Oh, hey. Got a nice little combination here. They've got a look. Edward Mendy stops it. We've got Zuma that got it out of there quickly because that was dangerous for Chelsea. Ziyech. In fact, we're not sure if it was Zuma or Rupert, but one of them got it out very quickly. Werner offside again. Patrick of offside calls for Timo Werner. If 
you don't think this game is realistic, this is all we need to see. Hudson Odoi, I'm going to call for the My Fellow American Christian Music, talisman for the U.S. Women's National Team. U.S. Women's Team had a fantastic summer, beating Mexico in the finals of the CONCACAF Nations League at the beginning of the summer, and in the Gold Cup of uh, North American Confederation Tournament of the CONCACAF. At the end of the summer, so two trophies for Pulisic and the U.S. Men's National Team this summer. Of course, had the Champions League trophy in May, so a lot of hardware for Christian Pulisic, a lot of silverware. Oh, it gets to this one. Off oh, the post and out. That should be it for this one. And it is. Chelsea won. Malmo nil. Based on their performances to date in Champions League, this is a very likely scoreline. I think that's been the scoreline in both matches so far. If I'm not mistaken. Although I could be. I apologize if I am. But instead of speculating on that, why don't we look at our highlights? Early on, it's Ziyech. Through traffic, defender bats that over. Pulisic to Werner to Ziyech. He converts. And for a little camera time afterwards. Ziyech wins the ball back in a good position there, but the Malmo keeper knocks that attempt away. Mason Mount runs through the midfield, finds Kai Havertz with some, with, well, not a lot of room. He's got a lane, though, but he can't get it on frame. Malmo with a nice combination here. A couple long balls. Good position. Mendy does good to knock that away. And actually, I said I couldn't tell if that was Rudiger or Zuma that booted it out of there afterwards. It was Conte. Way back there helping the defense out. Thank you, Ingolo Conte. Werner, the time, the one time he wasn't offside, on a through ball. Sends it in off the post. Werner with a hat trick of offsides. Ziek with a goal. Chelsea with a win from Stamford Bridge. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there's a picture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.